Hey everyone! So today I had something brought to my attention. Um, I am a huge fan of CNN, not a big fan of Fox News uh, for many, many reasons. Uh, number one, they're very, very biased and they like to put a very uh, Republican Christian spin on their news. And this exact video clip is an absolute result of what happens. So I'm going to kind of go through this because there is just way too much to speak about and rant about before I go off, but I'm also going to send this to Fox News. Hey there, Fox News. You're going to learn some facts here in this video. And the little segment you had on your Fox with Friends, Fox with Friends show this morning was absolutely inaccurate and ridiculous and before you guys report any kind of material like this again you really need to do your research and this completely reflects on the type of research that you do in any type of media who knows if it goes into politics or anything else before you actually go on on air and report this stuff so here we go I'm gonna watch it and we're gonna kind of explain it as we go on so here we go this morning these are at it again because uh there's Wiccans and pagans out there, right? Probably, I don't know if they make up a large percentage of the population. I do. They don't. They don't? No. <laughs> I do. They don't. Real quick. And the there are more Zora Astrians here than there are Wiccans. But apparently, maybe at the universe... There are more Astrians than there are Wiccans. Really? Did they find that out? Just wondering. In Missouri, they make up such an exorbitant uh, part of their population at the University of Missouri that they need to have all of their holidays now recognized. And they have a ton of holidays. This is the, now the bad side of Wiccanism is it's obviously a form of witchcraft, but the up. Okay. Number one, we have a lot of holidays. That's the bad side of it. And another bad side of it is it's witchcraft. Now, number one, fact number one, all Wiccans are not witches. All witches are not Wiccan. Not all witches practice Wicca and not all Wiccans practice witchcraft. So that is something, therefore, you need to get straight. Whether it's paganism, whether it's witchcraft, Wiccans, whatever the way you want to classify it, they are two totally separate things. Now, pagans is, is, is a lot like Christianity. You know, under that umbrella of Christianity, you can define Catholicism and Mormons and Jehovah Witness and all these other different variations of Christianity. Okay. They're, they believe in a higher power that is God Almighty, but that is the same thing as pagans. Now, one reason why a lot of people will say and classify themselves as Wiccan, even if they are witches, but they're not fully technically Wiccan, and they might be pagan, is because Wiccan, I'm sorry, Wicca, pardon me there, I'm all fired up, Wicca is finally recognized under the Constitution as a full religion. So it's a lot easier to define for people like you on Fox News or any of you others out there who don't fully understand the definitions and the actual beliefs behind paganism and Wicca and witchcraft. It's a lot easier to define to go, yep, I'm Wiccan. And then you're like, oh, and it's a whole stereotype. So you get that. So right there, they're totally wrong. And no, we don't have tons of holidays. We're going to go on with that. Side is you get a ton of holidays. 20% of all school holidays, as described by the University of Missouri, are Wiccan holidays. 20% of all. 20%. Well, this is a, a statement from the University of Missouri. This is why they say they're doing this. The information... 20%, really. And the other guy mentioned earlier that we have 20, 20 Wiccan holidays. 20. We have eight. Just saying about the Wiccan and pagan holidays has been in the guide since last fall. Keep in mind, this is not intended just for faculty. This is an informational guide for anyone across campus. And again, that's from the University of Missouri. Go University and, of Missouri. Uh, it's interesting. We had Tammy Bruce on the show earlier this morning, and this she says probably wouldn't happen uh, in any other country. Listen. I like this lady. She's pretty good. I think that this is, again, not about elevating anyone else. It's about pagans and Wiccans being used for a political agenda to downgrade what's important to a majority of Americans. I think that this is a an anti-tradition uh, action. I think pagans and Wiccans should be very angry about being used by the establishment. And I think that uh, uh, there should be a backlash. Of, look, 
The tradition in this country is, is what allows people to be pagans and Wiccans and enjoy, to enjoy their lives freely. Good luck doing that in any other country. Right. And somehow, if you're a Christian in this country, uh, too, that you can't say Merry Christmas to somebody or else you're trying to push your Christian faith on other people. Huh? Really? Really? Because if you get angry about saying Merry Christmas and other people want you to say Happy Holidays, but by God, if we said Blessed Be or Blessed Yule, do you not think that we do not get the same black backlash about anything or because we celebrate Halloween? We don't get any backlash. That's another thing. So, so sorry for you for not being able to say Merry Christmas freely without feeling violated. Right, but you get 20 holidays now if you're a Wiccan at, I, mean, I guess that's the one to go with, right? 20 holidays. We get eight. We get, and I wrote them down in order, Halloween, Samhain, Imbolc, Beltane, Lugnasa, Llamas, Yule, Astara, Maybon, Litha. Okay, Halloween, which is Samhain. We get Imbolc, which is Groundhog Day. We get Beltane, which is the spring equinox. We get Lugnasad, which is the harvest. Hello, do you garden? Do you garden? Okay, that is the harvesting season. Yule, Christmas, winter equinox. Okay, you guys don't celebrate that. Astara, same thing as Easter, the spring equinox, ah, oh. and then Maybon, autumn equinox, and then Litha, the sol summer solstice. Oh, 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 and how many times have you seen on Facebook with the post of people going, ha, 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 Christians, your calendar is based on the pagan calendar, really? Paganism, reg regardless of Wicca, paganism dates back before Catholicism was even formed before the Pope even happened. So you need to really check your facts and research. Just saying. Don't go off the commercialized, hoo-ha, gothic makeup. You know, we're wearing daggers and carrying, you know, pentacles and pentagrams. And we're tatting ourselves with ravens. And we're doing dark eye makeup that we're all, that we're all witches. No, that's not the way it works. It really isn't. Research the Salem Witch Trials, realize how ridiculous this is, and, and realize that it's still in third world countries. And yes, as they mentioned, yes, I am proud to be an American, and in the fact that I am able to openly practice my religion and my beliefs, whether they absolutely conform with anything on paper or in books or not, yes, that is why I'm proud to be an American, because the poor lady in Papua New Guinea, not long ago, that was in the news, got sacrificed and burned at the stake for supposedly being a witch. So what if she was? It's no different than what happened in the Salem witch trials years and years ago in Salem, Massachusetts. Come on, people. 2013, do you not think it's time to move on from this stuff? And then here in a very reputable news station reporting this kind of stuff and absolutely making a joke out of it. To me, I take complete offense to it and I find it wrong. So we're going to finish this video. It's almost done and I'm going to finish my rant. I mean, that's certainly the one. If you're going to pick one, go the one with the most Halloween. Except any religion whose most sacred day is Halloween, I just can't take seriously. <laughs> okay, you just can't take seriously because the, our most sacred day is Halloween. Why is that? Why is our most sacred day Halloween? Because everybody dresses up in costumes and the majority of kids like to dress up as a ghost or a witch or a wizard. Really? What makes that our most sacred holiday? How do you know it's not Beltane when it's the time of fertility and sex and the time of renewal? Everything from coming out of dormant in, in hibernation from the winter and actually rebirthing and coming to beauty and coming to prosper and blooming and being so beautiful. Do you not appreciate it when the days get longer and you can smell the flowers and the wind blows and the sun is shining and the clear blue skies? Do you not appreciate it? Are you one of those people who wears a suit and tie every day, gets in your car, pays so much time, so much money for gas, doesn't care to recycle, doesn't care about the Mother Earth because us pagans, you know, God forbid us, we do worship and take care of Mother Earth because that is our nature, that is our church. 
and you do this and you disregard it. Do you ever glimpse at the full moon in her beauty? Do you ever glimpse at anything in nature going on and appreciate the actual earth that you live on and, and or think that it's just going to absolutely take care of it yourself and setting the example for the children nowadays who expect everything on a silver platter. They don't realize what it's like to actually work and put blood, sweat, and tears, and time, and even money into making more money. Yeah, you might have been able to do it in your lifetime, but are your kids able to do it? Do they contain those work ethics? Same thing goes with religion. It's all correlated within each other. I mean, I call me a bigot. I, I'm not, you know... He is a bigot. ...offering an editorial against Wiccanism. Well, that would be more the pagan side, of it, right? Would be would be Halloween. How many Wiccans can name every Wiccan holiday? Or fifty percent? Really? How many Wiccans can name a Wiccan holiday? If you're true Wiccan, if you're true pagan, if you're a true witch, you practice it every day of your life. You can do it. How many Christians can name every one of their holidays? How many kids, or how many teenagers, or how many other adults can name five holidays out of the year, whether they're religious or not? Of Wiccan I don't know a single Wiccan. I will say this because you know we're journalists, and I and I have covered this. I actually went because there was some backlash a number of years ago against Wiccans, and I remember I had to do a story, and I went and interviewed a number of Wiccans, and they say, "Look, we are the most peaceful individuals. We just we don't practice crazy things. We're just of the earth. We believe in." I think that's right. Here. Every Wiccan I've ever known is either a compulsive D Dungeons and Dragons player, or because we all play Dungeons and Dragons, we all have our magic cards, magic gathering cards. And that's what we do all day, is play dun Dungeons and Dragons. Or is a middle-aged, twice-divorced, older woman living in a rural area who works as a midwife. And and likes a lot of incense. Yeah, totally. Yeah, yeah that's all right. Let us know how, if you've met any Wiccans out there. Let us know. Uh, friends at FoxNews.com. Ha! Gonna let you know. I am a Wiccan, I am a Pagan, and actually, I can't even class myself in either of those because under the umbrella of things, yes, it's easier to class my, classify myself as that, but no, I am a spiritual woman who is very hardcore and very natural in her beliefs. I am a natural born witch. Yes, I practice witchcraft, and do you know what? I am soulful, I practice love, trust, the read, and it harm none, do what ye will. What you put out, you get back times three. I'm all about the good. I do not practice bad. I spread love. I spread peace. I heal people. I heal people with natural medicine. I heal people with energy. I can heal people with my hands. And if you find something that is discriminatory or offensive about that, then that's fine. And I'm sorry you feel that way. But you know what? One day, you guys are going to rely on people like us. And for the fact that you guys cannot get your facts straight, Fox News, before reporting garbage like this is absolutely offensive to me. I do not bash Christians. I do not bash any type of religion whatsoever. If we do not believe in the same higher being or the same beliefs and practices in our everyday lives, you know what? So be it. I can agree to disagree. But for you to get on national television and to actually have a renowned and, and high reputation for a lot of different things and you and you preach to the masses and you put out unfactual facts and this garbage that you're preaching, it speaks wrong for the thousands of us. And you know what? There are more Wiccans and Pagans in witchcraft pra practitioners than you actually believe and know of. And you know why? Because of people like you, we hide. Because we don't want to be discriminated. We practice love and it's against our religion to actually speak out and cause harm and cause war and and put out that type of negative energy. We do if we have to, but no, we don't if need be. And that's it. So you know what? Make love, not war. It's all about peace. It's all about taking care of Mother Earth. And if you have a problem with that, you really do have a problem with you, and you might need to check yourself. Love and light, you guys. I'll see you later.